let's talk about the layers pattern. Layers is about splitting your system into layers based on abstraction levels. There is no guidance on how many levels you need to have. There is no guidance how the actual interfaces in between the layers should look like, these ones. But the basic idea is just split it up into layers and make it so that you could exchange a whole layer and as long as it implements the same interface, it still works together with the other layers. The context is that we have a large system, a complicated system. For easy and simple scripts, a layers pattern doesn't make any sense. We have a large system. And in this large system, we have many functions and responsibilities, and we want to structure them somehow. The forces are now, if we have to change something, this change should be limited to a small component, a single part of our application and not the whole application. For example, adding a parameter in one function should not force us to change other functions in our application. Then we want to have clear boundaries of our responsibility. Who does what component is responsible for what function? Also, in huge system, it's very beneficial to have stable interfaces so that not the changes of a single developer can force us to change the whole system. There should be some agreed interfaces which you can rely on. Then parts should be exchangeable. Of course, in component-based systems, you already have this property, but here you are bringing it to a higher abstraction level by even defining layers or multiple components or grouping multiple components together in one layer and make them all together exchangeable. And also, they should be reusable, of course, the same as component-based development. You want to reuse a whole layer in this case. And you want to have smaller groups for easier understandability. Of course, you could say my whole application is a single layer, but that makes it very complicated, especially for large applications. So here you want to have a smaller granularity. The solution to all this is that we structure our functions into an appropriate number of layers. This is the difficult thing. Here you have to think about which component fits together and which component, which responsibility should be brought together in one layer. We have two requirements for these layers. First, every layer should use the defined services of only its direct sublayers. And every layer should provide some services, some guarantees to the next upper layer. And this should be guaranteed. What are the consequences now? When we have some changes, they are kept local inside one layer. That's cool. Then we have defined interfaces between layers. Wonderful. Finally, the change does not distribute over the whole system, but stays inside the layer. And the interfaces between the layers will stay the same. Then we can exchange layer and we can reuse them for other projects, for example. But our efficiency is a little bit lower because we have to go over the whole stack of layers in order to execute some function. With every function call, with every wrapper and layer, efficiency will get lower. Also, we don't have fine-grained control over sublayers. Think of communication where you want to change some TCP or MAC header in a packet. How do you change it? As an application, it's difficult because you have to go layer over layer down to the actual Mac header until you can change it. And as we stated before, we shouldn't do this. We should only use the services of the direct sublayer. So this is difficult. Then the next thing, if there are changes which cascade outside of a layer, if we want to change the interface between layers, that's costly. If this happens often, layers may not be the best suitable pattern for this. The interface between layers should stay stable. And the right granularity of layers, the right number of layers, 
is difficult to find. So layers are used everywhere in applications. The best example may be the network stack, the TCP IP or ISO OC uh, reference model, where we have seven layers or uh, five layers, depending on how you look at it. Then for virtual machines, of course, we use layers. So we have the operating system uh, underneath. Then we have the virtual machine, which has some kind of sandbox. And inside the virtual machine, we install another operating system. And maybe we use uh, Docker or some other isolation mechanism. Virtual machines are also examples for layers. Then APIs, operating system, also companies and even cities you can think of as layers patterns. So inside cities you have this, you have houses, inside houses you have uh, flats or rooms, inside rooms you have some uh, yeah, furniture and so on. So these are all different layers on different abstraction. But this is also a real life example of layers. So. Coming to some implementation issues, who composes the layers at runtime? Who is responsible for uh, saying, this will be the top layer, this will be the next layer, these components will be in the next layer, and so on. This is not defined by the layers pattern. Uh, you have to decide that. Then how are the interfaces defined? What about workarounds? Sometimes, if you, for example, want to have high performance, you want to skip layers. How do you do it in a structured way so that you don't break up all your layer structure? Then stateless or stateful implementations. Should layers remember state? Think of network uh, layers, TCP IP. Should the TCP layer remember state? For example, what is the current frame ID? And how can we ensure that every packet is arrived and that the whole communication has not lost some packets and that they arrived in the right order? Here, we have to remember some states in between messages. Uh, but on other layers, we don't have to remember state. And layers are black boxes. So when you don't have access to the source code of a layer, you cannot control what's going on in there. For example, think of uh, OpenSSL. You don't know what's going in there. Of course, OpenSSL is open source, but there could be some errors inside of this used library, which you don't know and use, and your whole application could have then some errors due to this single layer. When you think of layers, think of a cake with many layers, or think of uh, a cool beverage with foam on top. Mm. 